What up, y'all? This your boy EB Man coming at y'all with another video for the 99 to 2000. And as you can see right here, how I'm checking my minutes, you ought to, you ought to know what uh video this is. Yep, this is another how to start video. You know what I'm saying? Cause some of y'all still got some questions. And hopefully in this video, this could be the last one I make about this. But this part three, this is the Cavs edition. You know what I'm saying? Um, pretty much, it, I did something just then that I forgot about. Like I used to back in the old 2Ks go to my minutes and check. You know what I'm saying? My progress to see how you know fast I I start or where I am. When it comes to starting, but you know what I'm saying for the last like probably five or four two Ks, I never I, I stopped doing it. You know what I'm saying because I kind of was just like, all right, I just know I'm not gonna start off the rip like that. You know what I'm saying, especially when I got into PS4 and playing on you know in park and all that type of stuff. But anyway, man, so uh, that's one thing that I wanted to add in this video that I didn't have in none of my other videos. Check your minutes. You know what I'm saying. Be sure to check your minutes and make sure you know what I'm saying that. Uh, that you you know nearing i guess the six man if you the six man that mean you know what i'm saying you real close and if you got a, if you got matching the same minutes as the person that's starting like let's say uh the starter got 24 minutes you got 24 minutes you probably gonna have about one or two maybe three games to play before you start probably two because when i was uh i'm gonna show y'all what i'm talking about real quick all right so we at the end of this game right here you know what i'm saying this is the game before i started so if you go back to the earlier part of this video, you will see that, you know what I'm saying, I was a six man. I believe me and the um, starter was like, both. we both had 24 minutes, like I said earlier. And I think this was probably the second game. I want to say the second second game afterwards. And then the coach had came up to me, you know what I'm saying, was like, hey, you know, you did a little cut scene. Matter of fact, I think it was the game after that or either the game before that, I forgot. I just know the cutscene happened, and then like two games later, two or three games later, I got this cutscene right here. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna get this cutscene, he gonna say something, I don't know, I had my audio turned off, cause sometimes I just don't even wanna hear the my career uh, talking and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I like to play music and stuff while I'm in my career, it make it go by faster. But anyway, man, while this happening, I just wanna tell y'all once again, number one, be patient when you playing my career. If you know what I'm saying, you didn't play all these games and you ain't started yet, bro, just keep playing. And now that I didn't show you, just go to my minutes. You gonna, I'm going to actually show y'all again once I start what it's going to look like. You go to my minutes. You just keep track of it yourself. Don't simulate any games, bro. Just play all your games. Go to your practices. I'm not sure if practice really affect, you know what I'm saying, you playing and stuff like that. Or that jump shot career. I got another video on that coming too. But just go. Once you get to start. And once you get your jump shot creator, do what you want to do, bro. Just go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of y'all ask, hey, man, you know, I I played 50 games, man. And then I actually did you simulate. You like, all right, I simulated about 30 of them, though. But you know what I'm saying? I feel like I should be still starting. Nigga, take that up with 2K. Speaking of, take that up with this nigga that's finna hop on the plane with me. But anyway, man, I'm about to go ahead and fast forward to um uh where I'll, you know, the starting the game and stuff like that. So y'all can see what I'm talking about. Man, they gave me hella cutscenes, but I don't think y'all, you know what I'm saying, gonna get all them cutscenes. It just depends. Every player is different, but check this out though. I'm finna go to my minutes. Okay, I'll turn my stuff back on Hall of Fame <laughs> so I get more points. Um, dang, how long? I, okay, here you go. So I'm going over the stats. You gotta go to stats, then go to my minutes, and there it is. Bam, I'm in the starting lineup. You know what I'm saying? Now I got more minutes. Then the six man, which was well, nah, he six man ain't even the person that spot I took. But anyway, I got more minutes than him now, and I'm about to start. So basically, what you want to do is, you know, what I'm saying I'm gonna uh, talk over this team, practice for a little bit, then I'm gonna cut to the starting game. But what you want to do is, you know, what I'm saying you want to ball out, you know, what I'm saying because I was kind of going back and forth. I had it on pro, then I had it on hall of fame, then I had it on pro. So I kind of mixed it up, you know, what I'm saying because I was trying to hurry up and get this dude ranked up pretty fast. But uh, what you want to do is, if you have a problem, bro, put it on pro. Put it on 12 minute quarters. 
Yes, I said 12 minute quarters. You can try 10, you can try 11, you can try 9. Just make sure you balling out to where, you know what I'm saying, you giving the coach a reason to start you. So I always tell people, put it on 12 minute quarters so you can maximize, you know what I'm saying, your chances of getting it started. You know what I'm saying, you maximize your, maximize your stats so you can start quicker. You know what I'm saying? So do that, be patient. And if you got the money, bro, just go on by that VC and get your dude souped up so you won't be out here just averaging 20 points a game. Because y'all be talking about y'all averaging 20 points a game. That ain't nothing in my career, dude. But most people who souped up usually average about 70, 80 points a game, shoot. You know what I'm saying? I think this dude averaged like 50 or something like that. And like I said, I had played most of this with Hall of Fame. I played like three games on Pro. Then I played uh, like seven games on Hall of Fame. And probably them last two I played on pro. And that's when you saw me just switch it back or whatever. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and skip to the game. You know what I'm saying? And if I can think of something else, I'll tell you then. But I'm going to go ahead and just skip you to the game where I started and stuff like that. All right, so we're at the game where I started. Now, I'm going to let this little first beginning part play out so y'all can see how many points I average. Also, you know, this is going to be the first little cutscene you're going to get once again before you start your starting game. You answer that question however you want to. You know what I'm saying? And here go the cutscene that I show y'all every single video. <laughs> this is where you take your pictures or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You pick the, the first one is always the best one to pick. Act like you've been here before. You know what I'm saying? You're going to take the team pick. And as you can see, I play for the whack-ass Cavaliers. You know what I'm saying? So it wasn't nothing to take dude's spot at all. Like at all. So, man, when you get ready, another tip I can give you is when you go into a team, bro, make sure you do some research on the person that's in the position you in that you're trying to start over. Like I said in the last video, don't be going to L.A. thinking you finna start at small for like in 15, 10 games and shit like that. That's, that's, you, you know damn well you're not finna start over LeBron. Now, come on now. Let's keep it real. Let's keep it a band. That's what y'all be saying. So, yeah, just, you know what I'm saying, just be mindful of that. You ain't got to go... To the team that you want to go to just to sacrifice how long you want to you know what i'm saying how how long it's gonna take you to start like it ain't even worth it you know what i'm saying because i'm explaining this in my next video about jump shot credit you have to start in order to get jump shot credit so and i'm working on that with him like this was the last game i played i'm gonna play a couple more because i think if this one happened with this player like i think it's three games you play three games after your uh starting game then you should get the jump shot credit but i don't know yet I'm about to find out, you know what I'm saying, whenever I do get back on this player. But anyways, <clears throat> did y'all peep the stats, though? I averaged 42 points a game. Usually it'd be higher than that because I play on pro a lot. But like I said, I've been playing on Hall of Fame. It actually ain't that bad. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, I'm on my 13th. This was my, uh, my 14th, my bad. I played 13 games, and it took me 13 games to start. And I started on my 14th game. So like I said, I've had different results for everybody. Like I said, I think I had what 15 with one shit i think 11 or 12 with another one and as you can see is what 14 my 14th game is when i started with this player you know what i'm saying so that's me bringing up the ball but anyway man i hope this video helped y'all out like i said check the minutes you know what i'm saying um make sure you go to a team where the position you play isn't too competitive you know what i'm saying like 99 overall player at your position or something like that you know what I'm saying? Make sure you got a a, a, a a player that you can compete with on that team and just take a spot easily. It ain't no point in trying to go somewhere and challenging yourself. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, do that. If you got the VCs or the money, go ahead and buy you some VCs and get your player up so it can make it easier. And if you get having trouble in my career, just leave the game on pro. You do not have shit to prove to nobody. Just leave it on pro, bro. So you can go ahead and get your starting position and your jump shot creator. But anyway, man, I hope this video helped y'all out. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell for the notifications, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. I'm out.